Um, so, yeah, to give context, perhaps not so much for the people in this room, but actually to the outside world, actually, Cardigan used to make jeans, and they used to make uh, 35,000 pairs uh, for 40 years. Yeah, every week, 35,000. And that's a ton of jeans, but it's a ton of knowledge. And then in 2001, <coughs> that, um, the factory closed, and, and like 400 world-class makers lost their, their jobs. 400 class world-class makers had nothing to make. And that's what happened, because they fought the wrong battle. They fought the battle of who could be the cheapest, and it wasn't us. It was never, ever going to be us again. And so the reason we started Hype Denim is to get 400 people their jobs back. But we'd fight a different battle. We'd fight a battle that I think we can win. And that is around innovation and quality. And we are fighting for the right to make. And the importance of, like, the yeah, um, Keras the Apprentice starting this week is the grandmasters have to teach as well as make. You know? We have to make sure that um, you know, we, we pass those skills down. And, and that's what we have to do. So part-time and full-time, there are 15 of us. Uh, and we started with like three or four, so we kind of we're nicely growing, uh, and we plan to grow some more. Um, so the project is now no longer Project Four Hundred; it's Project Three Eight Five, um, and that's what we're, we've got to do. And I genuinely believe that we can go and do it. Uh, you know, the, the, the biggest sadness sometimes is we tell ourselves that we can do this, and and. And we keep telling ourselves that we can do this. But actually what we can do is this. And we, we tell ourselves this lie, and we tell ourselves so often that we begin to believe the lie that we told ourselves. Because that is our truth. And I'm there going, I'm standing here slightly scared of this figure, but I know it ultimately, I think we'll go beyond it. Um, and we live in this remarkable time, beautiful, beautiful time, and uh, where the internet exists. And we wouldn't be able to do that without this. No way, no. But also we couldn't do it without the skills. And so, like Grandma Sir Ellen, like she's like, she's like a rock. I mean, uh, that's she's not here, I can say nice things about her. Um, <laughs> but it, she runs the factory, I don't know how to, to run a factory, but she runs the factory. She tells everyone that they go on holidays, what time they come in. I have no idea about that stuff. My job isn't that. My job is to sell. Helen's job is to make. And we have two factories. One makes jeans, and the other makes content. Um, so we have, um, you know, amongst us, like nearly 200 years worth of skill of making. And, and for a startup, having that amount of experience is insane. It's, we, we are one of the best elite makers of jeans on the planet. Just by their skill, their knowledge, it's incredible. Photos cut jeans for 40 years. The postman cut jeans for 20 years. I got my eye on the postman. <laughs> um, but Cardigan's like Hollywood in as much as actually it doesn't have actors and scriptwriters, it has jeans makers in all sorts of walks of life. So you can have a driving lesson, but they could teach you how to make jeans. 400 people in the town of 4,000. I mean, it's pretty incredible, really. Uh, the shy Amanda, but even the shy Amanda, like, she's not shy, um, is, she's been making it for close to 20 years. Like, you know, that thing about being a grandmaster of chess, Gladwell's thing, 10,000 hours. These people have done up to 50,000 hours of learning to do one thing like better than anyone else. 